Hello everyone and welcome to our exam B. So welcome to the second uh, lecture of coding series. And this particular video is uh, for the SEBI IT aspirants. We are running a coding series which where we are going to discuss the coding questions which can be prominent for your exam perspective. This is the second video. If you wish to watch the first video, you can just uh, subscribe our channel and give a watch to the first video. You can find the first video as well. So this was about the brief of the coding series. Now what we are going to do here, if you are watching this video for the very first time, I'll be taking one question and uh, that particular question I'll be giving the solution. So what you can do, you can just utilize that concept and you can code in whichever language you want to actually code. On. So I'll either be providing the solution in C++ or Java or Python, any one of these. And what you have to do, you have to just take the concepts and try to code in whichever programming language you are coding currently on. So let's begin the question for the day. And the question for the day is again for uh, maximizing the profit of buy and sell. So the, uh, this particular problem was broken into two parts. And in the previous video, we have solved the first part to maximize the profit of buying and selling of the stocks. In this particular video, we are going to address the second part. That was find all the days on which you want to buy and sell the stock so that in between those days, your profit is maximum. Okay, so suppose you have the input, let's say 100, 200, 399 and 120. So your output should come as 1 and 3 and 4 and 5. Because if I buy on day 1 and sell on day 3, I will gain a profit of 200. And I, if I again buy on day 4, that is on 99 and sell it on 120, that is on day 5, I will again get a huge profit. So I have to maximize profit. That was the first one. And the second question in which days I'm actually buying it. And these days should be consecutive in nature. You do not have to skip in between. Like you are buying on, let's say, 100 and selling on 99. Once you encounter 99, you got to know that you are having a loss. So what you have to do, you have to just uh, sell the stock before you enter any kind of loss. So this particular sub part, if we are going to solve in this particular video. So let's see what we can do. So before looking at the implementation, like take the driver code. So here in the driver code, what I have done, I have hard coded the values in order to make the code should look appear short so that you guys do not feel any kind of problem. If you want to take everything in user dependent manner, you can watch the previous video. There I have taken the values from the user defined manner, which are into the variable one. Okay. So you can watch that video if you do not want to hard code your values. So in this particular video, what I have done for the question, I have hard coded the values and I have took seven days uh, for which the stock prices are known. And then I'm calling the buy and sell method in order to solve the problem. And I am giving three parameters. One is the stock that is the number of days into which whatever the prices are there for that stock. And then the starting and the ending day. Okay. Once I make a call to this thing, this particular control will transfer my functional control to buy and sell original method where the definition is been situated. So if you wish to see here, you can see we have only one method that is buy and sell and we are doing a recursive call. If you can see here, we are doing a recursive call here. Okay. So now this particular question is being solved by recursion because we are trying to find all those days on which we can buy and on which days we can sell. In order to do, do that thing, it is not just the only one solution which can be given to us. There can be more than one solution on which days we can buy and on which days we can sell. And in order to solve that particular problem, we need to have this kind of solution in a recursive manner. So that's why I have used recursion. Okay, now let's understand what kind of logic I have put into. I have taken two variables, one as the data, uh, one as the delta and one other one as the previous delta. Okay, so delta I have initialized to zero and in the previous delta, I have calculated the value that is from the start of uh, whatever the starting index I am passing just ahead of that thing minus stock of the start, whichever I have provided. So I'm just taking ahead the delta between the consecutive days in which I will be having a profit or a loss. After that thing, I'll be running a loop that will from my starting index to the ending index. And I'll just compare if whatever the data I have in previous data, previous delta, I will just compare it with the next uh, comparative uh, delta. Okay, whatever the next uh, comparison, either it is profit or loss. So I will just compare it in that manner. If my previous delta is less than the stock i plus one minus stock start, what I have to do, I have to update my prev delta because the loss, uh, if it is, if there is any kind of loss, I am not going to incur that loss. But if there is any kind of profit, my pre 
delta value will be lesser in nature so if that is the case i have to update my profit and to do that thing what i'll do after comparison i will just assign whatever value i have just mentioned in the uh, calculation and i will just increment my delta to i plus 1 so that i am just going to forward my index which i'll be taking ahead okay so this thing i'll be doing because i have to get my delta uh, days into which i am buying so for if let's say for i today i am buying so i have to make count that day as i plus 1 because array index start from zero and if i count on number of days what i have to do i have to make a plus 1 because on zeroth day it is zeroth day in my array but actually it is the first day of the stock price so that's why i am doing a delta equal to i plus one after that thing i have to just output my things and i will be outputting the buying day and the selling day and for doing that thing buying day will be start plus one on which i am buying and selling day will be delta plus one which i am getting actually from my follow after that thing i'll be up updating the value in the parameter list of the buy and sell and we'll call it recursively okay so buy and sell now will uh, give me stock comma delta plus one comma seven if i call it by this because anyhow the ending will remain the same because i know how uh, much is the length of the array and to keep that in mind i will just keep my end as seven in every iteration but i will increase the value that is delta plus i so for doing that thing i will just recursively call buy and sell again and i have the solution in my hand so this was about the solution by which you can get on which days you are actually buying and selling the product after that one announcement from our side is like we are having a monsoon sale in the month of july and this particular sale you are we, we will be having basically flat 47 percent off on on our online courses you have to just use the code b double e 47 that is b 47 and if you wish to enroll with us you can just enroll now so that you can also have the shower of this uh, particular season on your studies as well okay so that was from our side for this particular video we'll bring the next content in our next video stay tuned and stay updated and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this